Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 114. We're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And bad stuff appears to be happening ahead of us. So uh, let's, let, let's uh, now that we're at the palace, let's make our way up to the front and uh, do something useful. Uh, do the royal palace could fall any minute. We must... Ahead is the okay. throne room. We must get to the queen to protect her. Oh, we, so Shut we get... the outer door now. Oh. Okay. I'm impressed you made it this far, but you are too late. Soon the queen will be dead, and General Zaki will be the new king. No, he won't. There is no ordinary door between us. The same material is used for the hull of capital class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. Uh, any door can be opened. This isn't over. I'm afraid it is. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Yeah. I, I got a funny feeling we're going to have to deal with that critter before too long. Journal entry added. Colonel Tobin has thwarted you again for the moment. As you enter the royal wing at the palace, he shut down the outer security door. He's currently trying to break down the last door between his troops and the queen. If he breaks through, the queen is doomed. Dun dun dun! Da da! Okay. Uh, is there anything in this terminal that can help me? No, because the terminal's offline. That would actually be useful. Alright, so we're going to head up the north pathway first. And... Vaklu Heavy Guards. How heavy are these guards? I'm thinking not so heavy. Let's get our speed and valor and battle meditation. And then we'll get ready for some power attacks. Since Kree is not going to, you know, actually help me out with a lot of that. Okay. Come on. Just uh cue up those power attacks there, good sir. Mate. I will silence this one. But the bodies at the floor. Okay. Any other remains? What remains of these remains? Hmm. Somebody left some stuff. Ooh, another uh, rifle there. All right, I got a couple people that would be good candidates for that. Some parts, good. Strength, eh. I mean, theoretically it could be useful, but uh, we've been managing okay without it. Ooh, and more remains. What else remains here? Spike and strength, uh, is that everything? That's everything. Alright, there, oh. <sighs> Why do I feel like that was important? Okay, yeah, that probably was important. Um, oh well. We'll figure out what to do from here. Dude. This isn't going to last long. I'm just saying. Alright, much as I'd love to loot some bodies, let's uh, clear this up and then we'll backtrack to the rooms on our way through. Bam! Oh, I was trying to find my power attack. I killed them all before we got there. An environmental suit. Okay. That could be useful. Prototype shield. Don't mind the Jedi looting all the bodies. It, it's part of the code. I promise. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Okay, we got lots of thank, for you, thank you for your help. 
right, let's back up a little bit. Uh oh. Prayer's Warblade. Uh oh. Seems like somebody's uh, been watching our back. Okay. Oh! Hi, guys. There we go. And what uh, what remains of your remains? 160 bucks. Hmm. And a shield and some parts. And... Agarok? Is it like a Ragnarok? What is an Agarok? Alright. So now I finally got to the part where I got more lightsabers than I got people who can wield them. Hmm. Didn't expect to be there. Hmm. It's electric. Boogie woogie. Uh, it's only upgradable by a scope. We got some grenades. Automation gloves. Uh, skills, but nice. Ooh. I gotta double check, because I think I got the Sith gauntlets right now. Uh, ooh. Mm -mm. You take a minus three to your defense to be able to chant, uh, stun them, maybe? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Got another one of those really nice rifles. We got an uh, unupgradable warblade. Oh, from the Wookiee Chieftain Freyr. Oh, this is a callback to the first uh, Knights of the Old Republic. And a not upgradable melee weapon. Minus five to attack, but you get power attack and improved power attack and a decent, a decent bit of damage. Okay. An armored flight suit. Counts as light armor. Uh, combat ready suit, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Nice, but uh, nothing too, too interesting there. What's in this computer terminal? Remote access. Uh, access defense systems. Abort console overload sequence? Uh, hmm. What do I want to do here? Oh. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, that didn't do much on the way of damage, but I I see. Because they've got a master slicer who who can hack everything. I'm not gonna out hack him. Ooh. Nice crystal. Uh what's in this museum treasure? Aussie's keeper robe. Oh, 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 oh. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to want to add that to one of them. All right, so at next workbench, I'm going to want to upgrade this robe. I lose the, the force. I lose the regenerate force points, but it wasn't that big a bump. And instead of just a plus two to charisma, I'll get a plus two to charisma, a plus four to intelligence, and a plus four to wisdom. That, that is well worth losing a little bit of force regen. Uh, that will be very nice indeed. Uh-oh. Viridian crystal? Okay, that could be nice. What other treasures do we have in here? Perception glove. Oh, that's right. I was going to check. Okay, so I got the awareness gloves, which give me awareness to dex to wisdom to. Uh, awareness dex one. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, I could use a plus five to strength too, but. I think having the uh, dex and wisdom is worth it a little bit more. 
Alright. I thought that was going to go better. Is that everything? That appears to be everything. Don't mind me while I loot your museum of all his valuables. Aye. Have I got a surprise for you. Uh, I need to deal with the guys right in front of me. Oh, no, 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 no. Because this guy is right here, and he needs to go quick. Okay. What in the world? Okay, fine. Oh, it stunned them too. Okay. <laughs> and because Mandalore hung back. Okay. Oh, come on. Are we seriously going to be waiting in here? In the poison room? Credit. Oh, 200 bucks. Always nice. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the terminal because that hasn't worked out so far. Another lens of dubious value. Uh, ow. Or serious. Uh, what about if I do this? Will that protect me from the poison? Because having poison resistance doesn't seem to have. Alright. Um, empty box. Some unlootable corpses. Okay. I forgot that that was an option, too. Oh, except it's not really... That's not really helping me right now. Alright. That's the direction I needed to go. Alright, that's all of those guys. Oh, there are remains back here. Mandalorian power shield. Be useful. Yeah, man. Loot the loot. Uh, drain all strength. Eh. Situationally useful. Clarity is situationally useful. All right. That is everything in the hallway. Let's start here. Oh, hi. I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. <laughs> we got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Cadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Cadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. Well, thank you. Uh, how did you get split from the forces? I'm not her bodyguard. No. We're fighting at the palace gates. There are too many of them. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the force be with you. All right. We'll, uh, we'll talk again before this is done. You and I. Alright, so he's going to use that terminal. Uh, what's over here? An empty room. Not quaint. A door that goes nowhere? So, you're the Jedi, <laughs> eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. <laughs> you fought right through their flank on the sky ramp? We desperately need someone you like got a Jedi in the other room right there. Like, theoretically, he should be able to do this too, you know. Um, Var mentioned We've some sort of mission. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. Yeah, and how do we there do that? There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hacked. I think I know who move. that is. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here. Then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again. And can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. Alright. Uh 
you have anything Feel that can help out. Feel free to take anything from the armory lockers in the next room if you haven't already. This is no time for niceties. <laughs> okay. I'll take care of it right Talk now. To the corporal. He can take you quickly to the palace entrance when you're ready to go to the south hall. May the force be with you. All right. So we got permission to uh, loot the lockers. Good. Chemicals, credits, another not entirely useful bit of parts. That's everything there. Oh. Uh, tech specialist belt. That's probably going to be useful for one of my skills people. Why is that corner of the room not filled in? There we go. Alright, that door goes nowhere. Master Kavar has nothing useful to tell me. Let's head over here. Fill out the map. Open the storage door. Repair the corrupted key sequence. Uh, twice first key number exceeds value of its half by 99. Okay. Um, reversing second key digits increase value by one fifth. Okay. The third key differs from the reverse of its digits by twice the product of its digits. Okay. The Yeah, I don't... I'm not a fan of those. Alright. Especially if you got a high enough use computer skill. You should be able to just, like, use computer. Pass. Automatically. Alright, I'll take those. Even though I haven't been using much of those. And I'll take, oh yeah, I'll take those. Locked. Not for long, it's not. Skill's too low. Alright. How about now? Sk still too low? Okay. There we go. Ooh, another double-bladed lightsaber. Some more crystals. Let's get them. Weird. I wouldn't have expected uh, the skill too low on that one. I've been keeping the Barab or Ingot. Uh, another double bladed saber. So that's your standard run of the mill. A uh, red crystal, a silver. Ooh, silver's kind of nice. Viridian. There we go. This is two to sixteen fire damage. Nice. Okay, um, yeah, okay, cool, we got some good stuff. That appears to be everything over there, alright. I could talk to the general to quick travel back to the front of the palace, but I, I don't think it's that far. It's not that far to walk. I mean, especially if I do something like this. Okay, maybe it is farther than I thought. Because basically all it was going to do is quick travel us here. It's not that far. Alright, so we got to go find this slicer. Let's uh, save the game there. Just in case. Alright, you encounter Master Kavar in the palace, but he's too busy to speak to you. You'll need to resolve the battle in the palace before having a chance to speak to him. Thank you for that. Uh, alright, the royal deadline. He says the only way to open the outer throne room door is to take transfer control of all the security functions from the primary security room in the south wing to the station. If you can clear out his troops and operate the controls, they can operate the outer throne room. Yada yada. Okay. Have, have, have y'all figured out who the uh, master slicer is that they have on staff? Gather our forces. Hmm. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. <laughs> Take your beasts and attack him. We need more yeah. time to prepare. 
I'm going to the control. Because that's going to help. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate. Oh. Perhaps the captain? Uh. Oh. Yeah, I should have expected that. Oh, I was expecting them to, uh, to trigger the mines. I guess not. Lady, don't you go triggering those mines. Take out the mines first. I will silence this one. Can I recover it? I'm surprised I don't have another destroy mine. All right, fine. Huh. Well, that was fun. Any lootables? No, no lootables. And everybody, no, just me. I just needed to top off the health. All right. Uh, let's. Well, that can't be good. Devastating Sonic Mine. Huh. Skill too low. How about now? Uh, where's my zap? There we go. Where was that all this time? Alright, let me take care of these guys first. Alright, alright, alright. Power attack! All right, the uh, hallway appears to be cleared. First, I would like to take care of this room here, where we've got. Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the rightful ruler of Onderon. Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is. Thanks for your help. Oh. Queen Talia is the rightful ruler of Onderon. Guys, seriously, you you just gonna hang out here with your swords and all that? Mandalorian assault armor. Nice. Where'd that come from? I haven't seen any, uh... The only Mandalorian is the one I brought with me. Oh, nothing to get in that door. Or is it nothing to get in that door yet? Let's make our way down and... What about this terminal? It's probably a mistake, but... Information terminal disabled. All right. So not much we can do there. Hmm. All right. So what's behind this door? Oh, hi. Let's, uh, oh wait, no, no, no. That's not what I need. That's not going to do anything because I didn't level that up appropriately. I'm starting to rethink that decision. I kind of wish I had another area attack type deal. Uh, where's my heal? There we go. And we'll 
try to get another attack in there and back to I am taking a little bit more damage than I took out of the uh without the robes. Oh! Uh, I missed a conversation, apparently? Come on, man. Man, this, this is so twitchy with the... Uh... Come on. You, you, you touch one button weirdly, and... Is that everything? That appears to be everything. Let's see what remains. Uh, Droid Anatomy Library. Which gets broken down for parts. Because it's not worth doing anything else. Carbonite emitter is always worth keeping. The remote interface. I don't remember if that's useful or not. Oh, okay. You, uh, you good sir have interrupted my looting session. We're going to have words about that. Alright. Come on. There we go. Alright. I was in the middle of something. Getting a piercing dart. Getting oh whatever that was. I missed it. Some of the sometimes these controls are just way too twitchy. Plasma thrower. Ooh, that is actually useful. Uh, another anatomy library, also known as Parts. Is she still there buffing people or stuff? Uh, Buster Rocket and Parts. Poison Darts and some armor, also known as Parts. A Dueling Shield. And 200 bucks. 200 bucks is always useful. That is everybody. All right. We still got that room that we can't get into. I have no idea what that noise is. But before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And we're very close to... Uh, to the end of this one so I might run the, I'm definitely going to run this episode a little bit long and I apologize for that but it'll be worth it Ooh, yes uh, let's talk to you good sir Ah, the Jedi arrives. I'm counting on the vaunted Jedi compassion and regard for all life forms. Yeah, you better. I was hired by General Vaklu to do a job. I mean, no malice. Just a misunderstanding, really? Uh, you seem to have enjoyed your job. Give me a reason why I shouldn't kill you. Why would you work with General Vaklu? Credits were good, and Talia has been declared guilty of treason. So I was getting paid and being patriotic. But I can now see the error in my ways. I should go right now and contemplate the depth of my mistake. Yeah, I, I'm not hearing the repentance. Oh good, I have that option as an awareness. <laughs> I don't believe a word you've said. I have perhaps embellished a little bit, but this is true. I'm done working for Vaklu. I just want to survive. That sounds about right. I can tell you aren't lying about that. Of course not. It's obvious to me, at least, that General Vaklu is not going to win today. So what if he was? You wouldn't change your mind? So survival is my first concern. I sense that causing you any more complications would be counterproductive to that goal. You better believe it. Uh, but you helped me clear Dagon Ghent. Incidentally, perhaps, I just answered a heavily armed Jedi truthfully. Then I later helped the same heavily armed Jedi with a quick task. I waived payment, I might add. I may have helped, but I saw it as the most prudent course. I'm less interested in politics than whatever can give me more material advantages. That's fair. 
Uh, I need access to the console. I believe I am still connected. You can do what you like. Oh. Okay. I am done. I will wait here for your troops to come. I will put up no resistance. You better. Alright, stay... Ooh. Uh, let me see if I can just let him go. Just leave. Get out of here. Alright, primary security loading complete. Enter command, security cameras, access system commands. Open all security doors, upload area schematics. Open force cage. Transfer all primary functions. Is that everything? All right, that is offline. All right. Hey, Captain. Thank you. Now that you've got me out, <laughs> you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once Just like I did? Code, if you okay. can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. Uh, I already transferred control. You have? You don't waste a minute. No, I don't. Captain Cadron will open the doors to Vaklu and Tobin any moment then. Let's head to the throne room right away. All right. Let's go. I think I've already cleared all the loot out of this place. <laughs> Aha! All right. Let us go ahead and level up one more time. Skills. Oh. Uh, stealth. Okay. Beats. I got sneak attack for some reason. Uh... Let's cut the hemming and hawing. I went with toughness. So let's do at least the improved toughness. And then I'll fuss about... Ooh, improved force camouflage. Nice. I... There is a beastie. Uh... Ooh. All right. Let's give it a shot. And let's go ahead and save the game. And I know I'm 30 minutes into the episode, but it's right there. The ending is right there. Let's, uh, let's do this. But before we do, let's go speed. Let's go valor. Let's go battle meditation. And now... Will you oh. just... Die already. You will go Come no on, man. Further than this. Yes, I will. Not today, Tobin. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. Yeah. The queen will be dead in moments. I might be able to control your beastie there. <laughs> Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! <laughs> I, I wish that was me. I really do. But, um... Uh, ignore okay. the beast. Into the throne room. Ignore the, the beast? The beast that's between you and the door? Oh, and he just let you there? Oh, almost all of them. Don't Except that guy. All. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I'm not going to get a chance to control the beast. And all those buffs I just cast are gone. All right, let's uh, let's try stasis. I'm gonna start laying in on the power attacks, and hopefully Kriya will figure out that her goal is to buff because she's supposed to be Jedi support. There we go. Done. That went quick. Uh oh. And everybody's just going to stand there and watch? Like, for serious. Oh, no. Okay. So now the two forces are going to engage with each other. Uh, use battle meditation on the to rally the royalists. Yes. Wait, I'm actually going to sit there and meditate? I thought that was kind of a little more metaphorical than that. Finish him! 
<laughs> Synchronized killing. That That's actually kind of funny. Alright, so we got that, Yahoo. He's not going to last for long. Alright. That is... Oh, now you get here, Master Kavar. Nice. Seriously? Now you get here? Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you. Uh, well, if now, you call killing all... Life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, <laughs> Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But yeah. Onderon will have a I'm new thinking destiny. No. One larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you. Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire. Coward. Uh, did I miss anything? See, so you must be General Vaklu. What? The Jedi lives? But how? Easily. You'll find... <laughs> you've underestimated what a Jedi is capable of. You'll find that I'm full of surprises. Kill him and the Queen men. Quickly. They must not be allowed to live. Yeah. Hi. I'm gonna start with you, good sir. No, I want it to hurt. Oh, there we go. Done. You've won this battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. <laughs> the Republic is a Oh, not for a few thousand ship, years. And you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Mm. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. Uh, haven't you had enough blood? I will not murder him when he's defenseless. Although I respect your counsel, the decision is the Queen's and not mine. You're right, if free, he will bring nothing but suffering. Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves. You're a fool. Your companion is right. Fine. Send me to your best detention <laughs> cell. I will be free within the week. And yeah, vengeance I'll be back. will be mine. Aren't you forgetting who is Queen Vaklu? I appreciate the Jedi's counsel, but as monarch, I decree you are guilty of treason. The punishment is death, to be carried out immediately. <laughs> Captain Cadron? Talia, you can't. You're but you're you're too weak. What about my trial? Uh, he's right. What sort of moral authority will you have if you do this? But he will rise again. He has too many supporters. I do appreciate your counsel, but he must be killed. Yeah, something, something, dark side. Uh, if you kill him, you make him a martyr. This act will set the tone for your entire reign. Yeah, no, let's try with the persuade. But the price if you are wrong. I thought I could order this, but I can't. It would be breaking our Exactly. Lives. You will stand trial. I should get light side points for this. Take him away. What is done is done. And a cookie. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis <laughs> is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you. I've been meaning to speak with them too. We finally get to have our talk oh, with Master Kavar. It is not a mortal one, though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. <laughs> there is a shred of life within you still, a gift from your master, no doubt. Oh. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Oh. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. Um. The Jedi have struck. 
They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. Oh. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onmarin um, can be freed. The what? Indeed. This war is far from over. The what? Ah, uh, I lost influence in Korea. No surprise there. But I got some XP and a journal entry. Okay, just uh, that I completed, and now I get to have my chat with Master Kavar. The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. Uh -huh. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. Uh, you were looking for me? I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Oh. Farouk didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine if only to help the settlers there and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. That is my next, Whatever uh, reason, port of call. Having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back, <laughs> and you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. Yeah. Uh, so why did you choose this place to hide? They were places touched by war, and we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds, if only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Why not Telos? Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Uh, Atris is there to aid in the rebuilding. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. What happened on Qatar? We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi <laughs> decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed, along with the Miralukas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great. That we should use our resources to find who was responsible hmm. and deal with them. I Fine job you've done. Made progress. I have questions. The difficulties you surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. Oh, yeah, you believe... Oh. Uh, huh. Where do we even begin? I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. Let's start there. There was nothing else we could do. You defied the Council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm eh. was done. But you That's must fair. understand, the exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. Lose my memories? Uh, what do you mean? I don't think so. Nah, well, it did give me time to reflect, so we'll go with that. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the mm. price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the Rim, and why you traveled with no one. And uh, I got a crew full of... Too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force mm. is always the gift it is believed to be. That is a good question. All right, I Whatever want to talk I about something you, else. Um... Why did you cut me off from the Force? Cut you off from the Force? Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? No, uh, I'm afraid the cause okay. of your condition was as great a mystery to the Council as it is to you. Okay. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Um... I have reestablished? You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. <laughs> when I first sparred with you during your training... Did you see what I did around here? I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. Hmm. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Alright. 
Uh, let's start at the top then. The Sith have revealed themselves. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I had thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. Um, why did the Sith come here? Or I thought they were defeated. Uh, I don't really. Nah, it's not so much defeated. Um, why did the Sith come here? They wanted to aid General Vaklu in breaking away from the Republic. If Onderon became independent, this place would be an excellent staging ground for them. Okay. But I fear it was more than that. That the consequences of Onderon's fall would have greater implications for the galaxy. Uh, did you have any success in tracing the Sith? You've had more success than I. Oh. General Vaklu's men and their allies effectively kept me pinned inside the palace. Hmm. I felt all along that Vaklu had contacted the Sith. But the identity and purpose of the Sith... Uh, I can't say. I thought they were defeated. The Jedi Order has been fighting the dark side since the beginning. Our rules yeah, and the, Jedi the eternal Code struggle. Provide protection from what's inside each of us. The dark side is always there, and it is something that can never truly be defeated. I feel our current troubles, though, are beyond what we faced before. This threat that is targeting us, drawing us out, it's not a battle we're used to, and it has ended many of us. Hey, that's the truth. Uh, do you know anything about this threat? Not enough. I feel it is something that was born from the wars that have struck the Republic. The threat is Sith, but the manner and timing of their attacks is difficult to defend against. We don't know hmm. all that the Sith planned during the Jedi Civil War. What secret training grounds may still remain. What worlds he discovered. We just don't know. Even after we deal with this current threat, I fear we may be dealing with the legacy of the Jedi Civil War for years to come. Yeah... Okay. Whatever what I else we got? Alright, so why did you come here? It's a long story, but there's a reason the Jedi have scattered across the galaxy. We've come to worlds such as this one. Worlds touched by war or great tragedies can be felt within the Force strongly. We thought that by traveling to such worlds, it would help conceal us from the eyes of the enemy. And they were places we thought we might find you. Okay. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Where are all the Jedi? Scattered, searching for you. Going to places where they huh. thought they might cross your path. You were our last hope. Uh, do I look like a Kenobi? Yes. I mean, actually, I guess technically I, I could too. be. I believe you are the key to this whole war. Uh, why is that? When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you. We'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We had suspicions as to why this was, but nothing <laughs> definite. But rather than try to understand, we sent you away. I think because at some level there was fear. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, and they flowed deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it is leaving something in its wake. Something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. Oh. The deaths of the Jedi, the destruction of Qatar. All of these things are leaving behind echoes, like the one we felt from you in the council chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you. But we couldn't call you back from exile, because we didn't know where you'd gone. Plus, there was a chance we might put you in danger, and that we couldn't allow. If you couldn't feel the force, then it would just make you a target. I don't yeah, know how well, you got back. But we've I'm seen how that works out. Uh, tell me more about the echoes. The echoes. The thing is, in traveling to these places, these places where war was fought, we felt the same thing. Echoes. Something happened in all these places. Yeah, this sounds like an Edgar Allan Poe thing. The echoes. It's hard to sense things through the force in such places. Too much pain occurred here. It makes listening to the Force difficult. Hmm. We resolved to meet again on Dantooine. All right, this is a lot of conversation, so I might split this part off into I a separate episode. Struck. Now that we've stabilized Onderon, I can join the others on Dantooine. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Ooh, now that we've stabilized Onderon, that means we might have made progress in our trade quest. All right, uh, we asked about Qatar, we asked why he came here, we asked about why he cast out of the order, cut him off, reestablished. All right, so now we've got the hollow recording. So, you heard what we said. 
Mm -hmm. These questions I cannot answer. This is something the council must answer, not I. You must understand. This is hard for me, especially after all you've done, but it is necessary. Hmm. Why is this hard for you? Did you know that when I was training you, I considered making you my Padawan? I didn't. The demands of the Jedi Council were too great, but I considered you a friend. Hmm. I even tried to convince you to become a Jedi Guardian. We could have used someone like you. <laughs> so the decision that had to be made was not easy. But I, I thought about being a guardian more. too, but they don't have enough skills. Whatever I can tell you, I will. All right. Uh, last one. I developed a force bond. That sounds like the bond that often forms between master and apprentice. But to that degree, you always did form connections to others, hmm. strong ones, even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. I'm sure others in the Jedi Council yeah, will be able I bet. to assist you. I think yeah, I know the. You could find them. All right. That appears to be all of it. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which I believe Ooh, nice. will aid you in the trials ahead. This is a Taru, an aggressive lightsaber form which is best used against a single opponent. Take care when you face multiple adversaries and be sure to close the distance between ranged attackers quickly as your ability to deflect blaster fire will be diminished. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't seem dangerous at all. Excellent. I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi right. Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we Ooh, can So act. does this mean Our that uh, will cross my again. questicles on Dantooine will be cut short? Because I thought we weren't going to hit that until, uh, until we found the last of the Jedi Lords. Here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. You can thank Mandalon me with money. Owes both you and Master Kava a debt that can never truly be repaid. Money will go a long still way. Wage in our streets. Word but by morning me. the conflict should be Word over. Here. I recognize you must leave soon, but please take this. I had also planned on giving you some relics from Onderon's past, but Vaklu's troops looted our museum. Yes, Vaklu's troops looted the museum. Thanks are enough. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The oh. war was brief but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. Oh, that's it? Uh, hmm. I guess I'm not coming back any time soon. I will take you to your shuttle. <laughs> Be my basilisk. Journal entry added. XP added. Oh, but the loot, it was right there. There's video happening. Wait a second. Am I getting shot down on my, wait. That doesn't make sense. That, what? Welcome back from Onderon. How did you fare? <laughs> Alright, the political situation has been dealt with. Onderon has only one leader now. I single-handedly entered a war. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> uh, no. Let let's... That is good news. The universe tends toward unity and balance. And you served as its catalyst in Onderon. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. No. Oh, you definitely seem to be applauding there. Uh, all right, we got time to do this real quick. Yeah, she's going to get nothing but unarmed specialist, and I need to get her constitution up to 18. So I can do the, the top level uh, implants with her. Uh, hmm, what do I want to do? I was going to keep doing the battle meditation, but I forgot that that is impacted by armor, and she is wearing armor. Uh, so I guess we'll go up the stun line then. Because that is not. Okay. That's it. Let's go ahead and... You spoke to Master Gavar, and he agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave when you had united all the Jedi Masters. Okay. So I guess that means that we got to go find the last Jedi Master, and then we can move on. 
Uh, and then we got to figure out how to stabilize things on Dantooine enough to get that bonus questicle. Um, all right. Now let me go ahead and save the game. I'll probably use the um, use the the Mandalorian to head back up to the camp between this and the next go round uh, to make sure that everybody's got the top notch whatever they can get, and I'll probably use it as an opportunity to level everybody since uh, I, I normally try to do that on screen, but honestly, you, you kind of got the feel for what I'm building with each of these characters, and it's going to stay in keeping with what we've done with them so far. So, uh, with all that said and done, I think that calls this extended episode done, although I'll probably end up splitting it into two, because that conversation took a lot longer than I expected. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.